Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Broken Wing Music Group. I'm Dante, the five-star detailer. Introducing the original. Original. My name is building. You can ask me anything. Is the title. You can ask. Day. You can ask me anything. All right, then. All right, right then. Shout out to New Gen Films, Consistency Entertainment Group. No days off for five-star detailer. Handyman service. At your service. Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here you have it. Question of the day to start it off. Mr. Original, who or what are you music-wise? Music-wise, I am Original the MC. I am serious rap artist. Um, man of God first. Um, and foremost. Foremost. First and foremost, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'm, when it comes to rap, I am... Uh, Really serious about it, man. I, I've been doing it for a long time. I think I'm pretty good at it. Uh, anybody want to contest that fact, you know, I love it. Love to get a little spa on that man <laughs> day. Right here in the lab, you know what I'm saying? We can break it up here. I can come to you. Yeah, iron sharpening iron or me just sharpening up my steak knife on your backbone. You know what I mean? I do this. Filet style. I do it for <laughs> You already, yeah. All right. that's Where are you from? I'm from Great Big Little Washington, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? I've been everywhere, but I'm from Washington, North Carolina. Running Creek to River Road Estates to Asbury Church Road to Sandpoint, uh, Montclair to um, where else? We uh, Van Norton, Bonner. Uh, from so Chaco, I'm from Chaco Wind. I'm from Chaco Village. I'm from Evergreen. So yeah. you rep your county? Yeah, I'm both counties, baby. Okay, okay. Well, that you that know, sounds like a good one. Taking both County everywhere around the world. I know that's right. Yeah, that's right. what we're doing. What made you, motivates you to keep doing what you're doing at this age? Um, I still love to do it, man. Like, if it was just for money, I probably would have quit when I graduated high school. You know what I mean? Because it ain't been that kind of party. But I love to do it. I've always been good at it. I never had to learn how to do it. I just decided I wanted to one day, and I tried it out. And I went to school and tried it out, and I got a good reception. Then I went, uh, uh, I went to Matthew Gibbs and tried it out. I got a good reception. Everywhere I went, man, people act like they liked it so much. And I like to stay sharp, and I like to, you know, poke fun at the at the younger cats a little bit, you know, to make sure they stay sharp too. Pump. Yeah, like you think old head ain't got it. Oh, yeah. I got. It. So I you expose it. your hidden talents yeah, at an early age. I got a lot. I still got a lot in the tank. So why not keep moving, right? I know that's right. Put some miles on it. Yeah, Cover some ground. That's right. That's Who right. inspired you? Uh, Music-wise? Uh, of course, Nas. You know, Rakim. Uh, Big L, Biggie. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. So you taking it back to the eighties? <laughs> yeah, the 80s that's that's mute. That's rap wise. Yeah. But as far as just inspiration, period. Um, like my grandfather, he was big in my life. Both of my grandmothers, one of them is gone on. You know what I mean? My parents and my siblings, like. So you still my keep... brothers and sisters. That's that's my immediate circle. That's I got a handful of people. I got this many family members and this many homeboys and homegirls. You okay. know what I'm saying? You, you you know a couple so of you folks. Keep it I know you know what's going on for the fallen soldiers. And, of course, man. And the, own, and the people who still I'm repping for everybody that was repping it with me, whether they fell to the side or they ran off. You know what I mean? Either way. Yeah, I know the deal. What's the difference between your religion and your faith? Hmm. Boy, 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 boy. Now that's hot. You gonna have people. Either on my helmet or your helmet. <laughs> question right. of the day. Yeah, this, that's that hot topic question. All right, so I'm, I'm going to give it to you as real as I can. Like, I used to be heavy in religion, right? And a lot of used people... Used to be? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you about it. I used to be heavy on religion. And a lot of people know me from my religious background. Like, I grew up in church, but I would end everything every time my mama turned her head and all that. Then I got out of church when I got out of school, um, doing everything I wanted to do. But when I came back to, when I got saved, like in my 30s, right, I was uh, just following the direction of people in front of me. But, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s now. And I followed the direction that God put in front of me, you know what I'm saying? I got my eyes open, I'm paying attention to the stuff I'm hearing 
and read and, and making everything make sense because I like feel like God sense. been putting it on my heart. Like if you you really can't understand that it's me walking with you or talking to you or telling you not to do something, at least take the situation you in and make it make sense. If it don't make sense, it ain't me in it. Because yeah. I ain't the author of confusion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And from that point, I started looking at it like I don't got no religion. You know what I'm saying? I got a relation I got a personal relationship with my creator. I got a personal relationship with God. I know who he is. I know he always with me. I know he lives inside me. This is And he temple. knows your heart. He know my heart and this is temple. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? And my my mom would probably be my biggest critic on that topic because my thing is Religion divide people. It don't bring you together. You either got to be a Christian or a Muslim For or a certain Jew. denomination. Yeah, you got all the and then it just Christ, the denomination. You know, the religion I I was claiming Christianity. It ain't nothing wrong with claiming a religion. I'm just saying why got to be so many different denominations to pick from if we all God's people. Yes. Why you got to be a Baptist or a Methodist or a Catholic or some you know Pentecostal? Why I got to pick a title? put on it. I yeah. thought we were all God's people. So I'd rather have a relationship than a religion. And I'm gonna leave that alone before I get in. Alright. <laughs> the you, you got in deal or no. You know. Where do your rhymes come from? Ooh, inspiration boy. Um most of them just my creative creativity. Like I, my mind always working and I, I'm always rhyming. Even when I it don't look like it. Like in my head it's always words coming to me. I thank God be just feeding me words. And he's like, let me see you put this together in the rhyming pattern. Let me see if you can do something with this. And he'll give me all these words. And throughout the day, I just formulated. But most, like the heartfelt stuff or stuff that people want to rewind, like say, play that again. It come from pain, getting hurt. Like every time somebody. That's your best teacher though. <sighs> Bruh, tell me. Hurt this... and pain is the best teacher. My most memorable rhymes, like. The songs that people remember the most from me came from a place where I was, did not want to rap, but I couldn't do nothing else to make myself come out of this funk that I'm in. Like, yeah. If I'm heartbroken, somebody close to me passed or something like that, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm burning the pad up or I'm tearing the phone up without even thinking about it. Like, that's how I know God give it to me. I don't sit down and just plot these rhymes, these songs. Yeah. It's like, Something to happen. It's experiences. Yeah, you feel me? I feel you exactly feel where you're coming from. Experiences, it always give you the insight. Tell me about it, man. That's why, that's why I picked you to do this interview. You know what I mean? Because it got to come from somebody that knows. Yeah. Not just somebody that knows something about you. You can ask somebody something, a detail or two about me and get that knowledge. But somebody that knows you from the sandbox. Yeah. They gonna have a different, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a different appeal and a different approach. Cause you could tell them, nah, dude, hey, hey, it ain't you, man. Pull you to the side. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Look, I know a little bit of front. I know a little bit of front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you know, you was bugging on that last thing we were talking about. You know what I mean? So it, it take that. That's why I'm comfortable. Cause I don't ever talk about my personal business with people. I don't know. Yeah. For what? It it's hard to conjure it up. Cause yeah. What am I? You don't know what angle that. that what am I gonna from? gain from that? Yeah. That's my thing. I got you on that. So, what's going on with your marriage? Boy, um, in a nutshell, without saying anything disrespectful or putting out too much personal business, I'm going to say this. We're not together no more, right? But um, I want to say she is an amazing woman. She's an incredible person. And um, sometimes in life, uh, your reasons and your seasons change up you know what i mean whatever god got planned for you if one door closed he must got another one about to open it's already and open you it's can't just... look at it as a loss I, I you know what i'm saying i love my wife but we we decided we're gonna do something else you know what i'm saying and i pray that god give her all the desires of her heart i mean that with all my heart i was with her for 22 years I ain't never had nothing bad to say about it in public, and that ain't changed. Yeah. I ain't got nothing bad no to say about it. No need to start right now. Right. I didn't lose nothing. I didn't lose my wife. My cousin Omar, he just lost his wife. Yeah. Me and my wife decided to do something different. Yeah. R.I.P. to Chrissy. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't a loss. Nitty, big shout out. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Round up, Danny. You already know. What's up, Nitty? 
Yeah, uh, like yeah. that though. But see, that's one thing about life because people always miss the transitional stage. Yeah. So that's the part where they mind go blank until the next time they see you again. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So like, therefore, you have to take it and do what you do to keep it pushing, stay positive, yeah. stay focused, and grind. That's right. That's right. You ain't saying nothing wrong. Who was on your team? Uh, that circ, that little bitty circ I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know my brothers. I got Mike Brown. I got Farmer. Farmer I got Beasley, Devin. Michael Beasley. I got Cornish. I got Roxy. I got Brianna. You know, baby girl. See the princess, about to be the queen. Yeah, yeah. Um, I still got both of my parents. You know what I mean? That's that's my immediate circle. I got you. I got DP. I got Chill Will. I got a couple people. I can't say their name on camera because they they ain't, they don't give it up like that. Yeah. But yeah. people, I say this: people that uh, help me through some rough times and people that help raise me when I want in a position where. I would uh, really let my mom or my daddy do do their job. You know what I mean? People that took care of me. Yeah. When couldn't nobody else take care of me, and I couldn't take care of myself. Make sure everything yeah. is in your best interest. Yeah. And um, you know, my in-laws, I'm still cool with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if nobody got no smoke with me, but I don't got no smoke with nobody. But just my like my my immediate family, a um, couple of my my homeboys, my man Clyde, my man Dennis. You know, people that help me get to it with the business, my boy Lunacy. And like I said, no handful of people that don't want me to mention their name. Right okay. Yeah, okay. that's it, man. So what excites you? Oh. Uh, my daughter accomplishing stuff. All, all my stepkids, you know, I still love them too. Every time um, the youngest daughter, my youngest daughter called me. And it's my granddaughter on the phone that just want to talk to Gramps. Yeah. They get me excited. I might be in a slump sitting around the house doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? And I get that phone call and that made me call Lee. Yeah. I gotta go to the studio. I might not even have nothing prepared, but by the time I get here, that two hour drive, I'm gonna be ready. I'm ready. So I seen you going to a little slump when I asked that question. Was it do that put you on a volatile state or are you just yeah, just sometimes. shaking back, making an adjustment from what you just had. Yeah, on. it because it's, it's. I thought, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a bigger adjustment than I thought it was gonna be because you get to a point where you be like, all right, I'm good now. After you done went through it for a little while, yeah. And then you be out in public somewhere, and then you find out that you ain't good. Yeah. You still ain't good. Something reminds you of. Put you so or, 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 or yeah, something. it could be something little, something big. It could just be. The way the wind blows, you be like, why am I coming out of the like, movies? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And yeah, then just yeah. boom, hit then rock then bottom. Right back to you either the gonna self medicate, right. you gonna go hurt something, go in jail, you go hurt something. Oh, you already know. 46. That. I ain't going to jail for hurting nothing, but in, in the heat of the moment, bro, you don't know that you ain't gonna hurt nothing because a lot of people don't know this, right? Now, this is a gym right here. A lot of people don't know this. But again, I'm gonna go back, this go back to me picking you to do this interview. I said it had to be somebody that know me, right? So a lot of people know Matthew, a lot of people know Little Brown, a lot of people know Original, right? The rapper, especially people from where we, we where we from or whatever, yeah. and social media. But only like a handful of people know my alter ego, Billy, and know where they come from, right? So when Original, Matthew, or Little Brown get offended, upset, or embarrassed. He shake it off, cause he's a big person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody know one of them three people to be. Even though he's the same person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If Billy get offended, upset, frustrated, or embarrassed, he wanna get his lick back. Yeah. Anyway, he got all to get his lick back. Are, yeah. <laughs> and I tell people this all the time to step on my toes and I just let it go. I like you lucky this such and such. Yeah. I, you just lucky you don't know who Billy is. Yeah. And they Crazy, he got an alter ego in there. I'm like, me not being Billy probably save your yeah, life. Yeah. Save me from going to prison for the rest of my life. Yeah. Save you, save your life. You know what I'm saying? Looking because at the bigger picture. I, if you hit me, right, you can't tell me how to hit you back. If you hit me with a pencil, right? A pencil, say you throw a pencil race at me, right, Smash? Right? Right. You can't tell me what I got to hit you back with. Like, I ain't got to hit you back with a pencil eraser pencil just because you hit me with a pencil eraser. Yeah. If I don't bust you outside your head with a brick <laughs> when you when you thinking we cool and shaking it off, yeah. 
You can't get mad with me because I hit you back with a brick and you hit me with a pencil eraser. The point is, you shouldn't have never hit me, period. You can't tell me how to hit you back. You just got to expect that I'm going to hit you back. Exactly. Now, is it going to be worse than what you did to me? Probably so. so. <laughs> you feel me? That's why I say it's a good thing that many people don't know Billy. And when I came to, like, when my situation that I'm in right now, when it came to a head, I found myself going back to Billy. And I didn't even think Billy was still in there. He was doing it for so long. He, he had been laid down. I thought he had been the credit. You know what I'm saying? I thought he had rotted away. But them you know, feelings, man. You be, and I wound up telling her. I was like, yo. She she said something to me once. She said, I ain't the same person you, you knew all these years. And then I repeated it to her like a week later. Because I meant it. I was like, oh, I'm bugging. I'm all out of character. I'm, I'm doing stuff that he would do. When I was a teenager or early twenties, yeah. and I'm but you y'all been together for twenty two years. So twenty two years, so it dates back. He was just taking a nap. You see what, you know what I'm saying? saying? But it also dates back to that time frame in the round when y'all started. Facts. You feel me? So it all it went back to that to yeah. back up the speed. Yeah. So you that's where that came from. That's where the slump came from when you asked me that question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It was feelings. So what are you working on now? Everything, man. You know we got. Consistency Entertainment Group LLC. Of course, that's the that's the first startup company, my first ever um, legal um, LLC. Uh, it's an entertainment company. It's not just a, a record label or a rap label. We have uh, multimedia stuff going on in there. I got a team of in-house producers and engineers. I got uh, I don't call them a team because they their own men, but I got two super duper. Um, Videographers, video guys, uh, with so Mr. Clyde Wiggins, of New Gen Films, and Mr. Dennis Brathwaite with uh, D Nice with Christ. Um, uh, we got the uh, Reliable Ride car service going. So I'm, I'm, everybody know I'm a Lyft driver too, um, outside of my nine to five job and my rapping job, right? So I just uh, started rounding up uh, local customers. Uh, regular customers, people that call me every other day yeah. on the Lyft app and cut the middleman out because Lyft want to have the profit with none of the work. Yeah. So I cut the middleman out, get all the profit, and get charged them half the cost because that's all I was getting in the first place. Yeah. You know what I mean? That keep the customers made up some business cards, pim 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 pim. I'm also into acting now. You know what I mean? I ain't took no classes. I just been going to auditions or type of ass auditions because. I treat it just like the rapping. Y'all even gonna like it again. Once well, you invest into it though, so you I'm you, heavily invested into everything. I have not borrowed a dollar from a bank, even though my credit is good, my business credit is amazing now because I never had it. So it didn't take long for me to build it up. Yeah. And now my personal credit is starting to look almost good as my business credit. Can you show the match? go crazy, yeah. but I'm about to run it up. <laughs> You hear me? I'm about to run up. See, that's why I say if God closed one door, it got to be because he got another awesome door to open. Yeah, you go through whatever you go through. I don't know how long I'm going to be in the slump that I'm in and out of, but I know I got something real big and bright waiting for me once I do finally shake it all the way off. Yeah. I think that's the only reason I can't get to the bag like I'm supposed to be to the bag right now is because I'm still holding something that, that it's, it's some dead weight. But I need that bag, so that dead weight about to get cooked. I'm gonna grill it this weekend or something. And stop raining. <laughs> so what is going to therapy like for you, boy? Boy, I had a couple people that um, told me I should have been gone way before I started, right? And I was just taking taking these folks' words because they close to me. But I I never wanted to go because I don't ever want to tell nobody my personal my personal business unless. It just popped out of me. You know what I'm saying? But I thought it was going to be like healing. And it probably would have been. But they sent me to the wrong therapist or the wrong clinic, man. Because I get there. Okay. So the woman I'm going to see, she cleaning up her office or something before I even get in there. So she making the, me late for the appointment. Not me. Yeah. I'm sitting in the lobby. The receptionist happened to look over and see me and keep... I caught the corner of her eye peeping me, right? I'm I'm thinking maybe she, maybe my haircut was good today or something. But no, she recognized me from Facebook. She said, You a rapper, ain't you? 
So the woman that's waiting for me that's cleaning our office hear her. And she noticed her, her co-worker or her receptionist realize who I am. So now she's interested in how you know who he is. She called me in the office. She sent me down. She started talking to me. She's doing everything but paying attention to me talk, right? She just get me talking. And then she go to doing other stuff, moving stuff around her desk. And then she asked me, do you have any music I can hear? I don't know. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. What we talking about? What I'm here for? Now nah, I done got my mood. I'm like, oh, Billy Hill. <laughs> just, just, just give her Billy. They want to keep waking them up. Yeah, she's starstruck. I play. I, I actually play a song for her that's dealing with the situation. She's just like, that, that, that is really good. And she telling me who I should talk to and try to get it on the radio. And I should do more of that because it's, it's therapeutic. And she taking text messages in between the meetings. I ain't going to. I, but I've been talking to some, some good people on the side that work in that field outside of their office yeah. that's helping me get my get my noodle unscrambled, man, because it's a process, bro. But, yeah, that wasn't, no good, that wasn't a good experience for me. Okay. Well, you look like you're doing good, so whatever you're doing, just keep doing better. It'll work out for itself. No doubt. Last question of the day. What's next for Original and CEG? We're doing everything. We're going to the moon probably... Next time Elon Musk go up there, cause I gotta plan a flag, you know what I mean? For when they start that out of space stuff, my grandkids gonna have C E G on Saturn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the super air conditioned suits. <laughs> that's what we doing though. Okay. I appreciate you, my brother. You already know, it's always a pleasure. Sitting down with me, man. Grilling me, not killing me. This therapy itself alone, you know. It, it is, cause I need to get it out. And I had to do it with somebody that know me, like I said, so you already know. Appreciate you. Anytime man. call me. CEG, we on the map. Five star details to check us out. 250 mile radius. I walked up in here like the high stepper. Hot like hot pepper. No, sir, you not better. No, no, not ever. I rocked the box better. Flow cold and hot weather.